My name is Jay Grams. My family has owned the Volo Auto Museum since 1960. We have a few hundred of the most exciting collector cars and they're all for sale in one location. I personally have handpicked them from around the country. Welcome to my sales shop. Come on, let's go for a spin. We've got a gorgeous 1955 Thunderbird here, snow snowshoe white with the red accents red interior the wire basket hubcaps it's been body off frame restored if you go to volocars.com as you can read all the specs study about 100 pictures and that's where you'll find prices on all the collector cars that we have for sale that's at volocars.com if you just enjoy watching the videos subscribe to our youtube channel and click on that bell icon and you'll be notified as the new ones are posted. But for right now, top is off. Let's go for a spin. We acquired this car back from the gentleman I sold it to about seven years ago. The body off frame restoration had already been done before we sold it to him. He spent a lot of money, uh, a lot of improvements on the car, including rebuilt motor, trans, all new convertible top, he added power steering, the list goes on and on. Uh, so anyway, body off frame means just that, the body was taken off the chassis, the underside of this car is such clean metal, they painted it all the same white, so it's all nice glossy white. Everything in the chassis was rebuilt at that time, the front end is all rebuilt, uh, it has some upgraded coil over uh, shocks in the back. Uh, he added the power steering, so that whole power steering uh, control valve underneath has all been replaced. Motor's rebuilt, so when you look up at the motor from underneath, it's spotless. Uh, the transmission was gone through, that's spotless. It's the cruise o trans. Also, the dates on the side of the engine make it uh, proper for this car. Uh, fuel tank at time of restoration was replaced, and the straps were replaced. The exhaust is good and solid. It has some surface rust on it. The mufflers look new. Uh, the brakes were redone at, during restoration, and more recently they've been checked out and serviced. So underneath the car is in really good condition. Not brand new right out of the shop, but it's beautiful under there. The body itself, same thing. This is an older restoration. It's held up really well. It's straight, it's smooth everywhere. The body gaps fit real nice. Now a T-Bird, the hood has to be square all the way around. There's no room for error. You tweak this hood any which way and it's gonna hit somewhere. This one fits real nicely. Headlight buckets fit nicely. The doors fit really well. Nice and flush along the bottom. The gaps are square. All fits real nice. The trunk fits really square. If you catch it in the right light, you can see some really mild bumps right here. There's a factory seam. I think they use lead. This is where the panel uh, was spliced together. So that's always a problem area. But again, this paint is how many years old and it's just real mild imperfection there. Uh, I think there's a chip up on one of the front fenders. So if you look for some flaws, you'll find a few. Anyone that walks up on this car is not going to notice them. They're going to say, this is gorgeous. Uh, the chrome back here is real nice. The exhaust comes right through the bumper like it's supposed to. It has reverse lights. I think that was an option. Cross flag emblem uh, is real nice. All of this is real nice. There's two chips on the skirt. There are a couple of them, right? one there, one there. Door handles are new. A couple scratches here from the, the lock from the top. Windshield was replaced, the gasket was replaced, and all this trim looks new. It's beautiful, bright and shiny. Wipers are shiny. This looks like new. That looks like new. This is an actual functional uh, uh, Ram Air scoop. The trim up here, this is all an 8 out of 10. It's real nice. There are some places on the grill itself where the chrome must have peeled off. There's a little surface rust in a couple places there. Uh, the turn signals, they look like they're new. The hubcaps, what a difference compared to the standard flat hubcap. Those wire basket hubcaps are gorgeous, and it has the red, which is great. And these are radial white wall tires. I'm going to assume they're pretty recent because the white is super white. They just look, they look like new. 
The interior of the car is beautiful. The red and white just pops. Uh, when it was restored, all of it was replaced and redone. Uh, it's still in really nice shape. Look at the door panel and armrest, the machine turned trim, the handles are new. Uh, the dash area is real nice, the lenses aren't cracked, the horn ring on the uh, steering wheel is not cracked. Uh, these have a tachometer, still has the original radio, real nice carpet. Now the convertible top stores behind the seat. I, have the receipt. I think it was close to three grand for an all new top. It's a stay fast black canvas top. Inside the trunk is redone, uh, painted, uh, has a spare, has the mat, has the rear seat divider. Automatic transmission was an option. That console sitting in the middle, that's just sitting there. It's a nice aftermarket product. As cup holders, it literally lifts right out. Now the motor compartment is beautiful. This is all detailed, like show quality. The motor is completely rebuilt 2,000 miles ago. It's hardened valve, so it runs on unleaded fuel. And there's a lot of new parts. The water pump, the fuel pump's been replaced. Uh, it's upgraded Pertronics electronic ignition with a flamethrower coil, all new hoses, new plug wires. Uh, updated from a generator to an alternator. The teapot four barrel carburetor uh, was professionally restored. This has the engine dress up kit, the chrome air cleaner, breather, and the finned aluminum valve covers. But when they did restore it, they even got as far as the paint OK stamps. The whole engine bay is painted real nice white. The radiator and shroud is, is glass finished black paint. Uh, wiring looks like it was replaced. Motor compartment's beautiful. Has an Optima battery with a billet hold down bracket as well. And the power steering, like I said, that was added, so that was all new. That was two or three, closer to three grand for that by itself. So there's a significant amount of money been spent on this car in the last 2,000 miles. The heater control panel looks new. Now these old birds, you got to put them in neutral to start. Boy, it runs nice. Smooth as can be. I don't think I ever opened this door. It was not on purpose. Door jam's beautiful. All looks great. There you have it, a gorgeous 55 Thunderbird. I don't think you can beat the colors and the wheels. And again, it's not only looks beautiful, but he spent a lot of money getting it mechanically in great shape as well. That's my impression of this old bird. Go to volocars.com. There's plenty of ways on there to contact us. The salesman would be happy to answer any concerns or uh, questions you have about the car. They can also deliver this car to your driveway. They can also help with financing. So visit volocars.com if you're interested. If you just enjoy watching the videos, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click on that bell icon and you'll be the first to see the next one posted. Thanks for watching.